things that I uh, would be playing ahead of it. Well, not really a lot. But there's games I already have below it. And there's games like Darksiders, Demon's Souls, Final Fantasy. All. Which... Uh, all which have the potential to be bought ahead of it as uh, as well so <coughs> so I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually get around to getting that um so yeah next would be finishing up Dragon Age as my um, as my rogue um, so yes, that means if I haven't beat Dragon Age by, uh, the time Darksiders comes out and I decide to buy it, then I will be playing Darksiders and have to, uh, put Dragon Age kind of on hold temporarily. I'll probably go back and forth between them if, if that's the case, if that happens though. And the Darksiders is, like, so ridiculously good that I can't put it down. Um, next would be God of War 1 and 2. That is $40 for two good games that are kind of, uh, well, basically, they're kind of the, uh, the leaders of the genre they're up there with basically with Ninja Gaiden and I don't think there's anything else in that same action genre that is <coughs> considered as good as them so uh yeah that's like super good value after that would be God of War 3. I, uh... <coughs> God of War 3, obviously, is... going to be newer than God of War 1 and 2 when it comes out, but it, uh... These games actually have somewhat of a story, as far as I understand it, that I would probably be better off, uh knowing what's going on, so I don't really want to play God of War 3 before 1 and 2. The same would be true of Mass Effect 2, but I don't have any interest in that game. Uh, <coughs> mostly because the combat looked really, really boring in the first game from what I saw of it. So, I'm not I'm not really so interested in the story. So yeah. Next would be Bioshock 2. I uh, never played a whole lot of Bioshock 1. I saw my brother play through most of it. So it looked... <coughs> it looked pretty good, but... Pretty much, I'd have to say it was too linear, and, uh, like you're just kind of in these small, tiny, narrow hallways, corridors, whatever, most of the time going from point A to point B, killing a few guys on the way to each spot, and killing a few more when you get there and occasionally fight the little big daddy guys and that was about it as far as I could tell <coughs> the powers looked kind of cool but there wasn't <coughs> there didn't seem like there was any any real room to uh like get creative with them and like stuff it's like okay you can zap people with lightning or whatever and <coughs> there wasn't 
a whole lot beyond that. I mean, there's like some parts where there's like running water or whatever, or there's guys standing in the water. And you can like shoot the water and it zaps all the guys in the water. But it's like, since the game's so linear, it's practically a scripted event. And it's like, <clears throat> so, it was pretty, like, Bioshock 1 was, like, pretty cool, but not, not super ridiculously awesome in my book. Um, my voice is getting kind of tired of talking. Okay, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. That used to be right up there with Super Street Fighter 4. But I've decided with Marvel vs. Capcom 2 that it is a game that I will probably not be getting for multiple reasons. One being that I have no idea... Like, I don't think I know any single character on the Tatsunoko cast, and I don't even know all the Capcom cast, so, so like, three quarters of the characters in the game, I don't know at all who they are, which is true from Marvel vs. Capcom, too, I don't know who most of the characters in that game are, either. Like, from the first row, I don't know who Felicia is. I know who Mega Man is. I don't know who, uh, I don't know the Captain Commando guy. I don't know, um, Shumagora, that big green blob guy. And I don't know Thanos, that guy at the end. And who's the other one? Mero. I don't know who the hell Mero is either. That took with the, the special bone abilities. So, out of that first row, the only one I had ever heard of... Well, actually, I've probably heard of Captain Commando. He sounds kind of familiar, but... <clears throat> maybe. Maybe I've heard of him. But Mega Man's really the only character in that whole row that I... Like, definitely know of, for sure. So, <clears throat> but anyways... Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, it'll be kind of like more of that, but fewer characters, and it's on the Wii, and there's not really any, any huge problem with it being on the Wii, but that means it's not on Xbox Live, which is my big preference for online gaming stuff. I just, I know Xbox Live much better than whatever the Wii has. <coughs> and, uh, and the PlayStation, the PlayStation one seems pretty good, but I don't really know it very well yet. So, that's kind of a problem, and there's kind of a problem with the Wii, the Wii players, like, if it was on the Xbox 360, there would probably be, um, <clears throat> like, more and better competition to, like, play against it. I don't think a whole lot of people who, like, consider themselves, like, good gamers would be playing a game like that, because they wouldn't necessarily have a Wii, like, it's, it's not really a hardcore gamer kind of console, you know, um, so there's, yeah, there's that, and also since it's on the Wii, and instead of the Xbox 360, it's less convenient for me to record stuff, because I have to move my stuff to record stuff off of either the Wii or the PS3, where it's whereas it's convenient, and that's why all these upcoming vids vids are always in, on the 360. Um, 
it's convenient. 